cuffs Where we post it every Friday See them corn emojis Then you know a nigga wildin' I'm a Jada Gemini I mean, I, I'm just <laughs> Really think about what you're saying right now like, I'm trying to Think I'm trying long to, you know, and hard It you can't, can't talk, talk about, about dismal, dismal, I guess, without me being dismal. No, just I'm just saying, just like now you know them bitches got that BBL. You said you're you telling me use context clues and like yes. look at where the flight came there from. There ain't that many people, with, women with in it. wheelchairs going where? Like, come on now. With the booty pad. The women in wheelchairs on the the DR and the and the Miami airports. Getting their BBLs the, because that's and they bring the only place they can go for some whatever reason. Why, why, why man, y'all beautiful? Why, why y'all doing this? So, these why videos have been going viral. Um, here, I'm just gonna play this. So many booties, so, so many, so many booties are not gonna get cherished now. This was a Santo Domingo cherished. flight to Atlanta. Look at all these BBLs. Talking about I must have missed a sale or something. Y'all who dizzy. Oh my lord. Be safe out here, child. Look I, at the line. I just like. It goes back. Here, let me put the chat on the mm, screen. Mm, mm, mm. Um, choo -choo 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 -choo, there we go. I knew it was bad. I used to watch these little cartoon documentaries and learn stuff throughout the day while I was doing tasks because it, it helped me kind of chill. And. Yo, when, when I, I saw that, that there was a video on the infographic show about why BBLs are so dangerous, I was like, why With do they... With the whole animation. The whole animation, animation like yeah. they were talking about the Black Plague right. or some Right, yeah, it's really bad. It's I'm like, really yo, these epidemic. never told me some shit and look up and was like, oh, damn. And then... <clears throat> You you periodically do hear about these stories where people go abroad, like to uh, TJ uh, Tijuana, who are for people that are not familiar with TJ, which is like um, right below San Diego on the Mexican border, where people go to get wild in cheap surgery and drugs, um, and in other places abroad they get these cheap surgeries like DR two Santa Domingo, sure. Um, do you think that you would actually hear about all of them? No. All of the people that passed away? No, because a lot of the stories that I hear, a lot of the family members are like, oh, um, I haven't heard from this family member in like days, weeks, and I keep calling the hospital and they're not telling us anything. And then finally, maybe like whenever, I guess they feel guilty about it. They're just like, yeah, they died. Like, what? And that's a common reoccurrence in the country. I mean, if you have the money to do it responsibly, bro, do it. But because I'm not like though, that's the thing, though, babe. Anti-surgery. This is the thing. There really isn't like a one-trick thing, mm. you know. Like there are surgeons who won't do it because it's so high risk. Like it's a very high risk surgery. Like. People, even if you get it done in America, you could still die. Like I've seen, so you guys know that um, that trend where it's one like eating in 3, without, yeah, one in three thousand die. Can you send me? That, yeah, because we're gonna pull up statistics. That's another and stuff thing. Like that it's later. so hard to actually pull no, up an is. unbiased yeah. statistic about this because we try to be so analytical about this stuff. But that's the thing. If you have money, you can effectively pay. To put your old far in the queue of yeah. Google in the in the three percent of the web that I talked to you about earlier, like basically just scrubbed any type of statistical data that's current, i.e., twenty twenty about the uh, fatalities of the BBO. And what we're not know? gonna do is not. You said how would you know? How would you even know? Because a lot of people are getting them done in Miami. A lot of people are getting them done in rural towns in America because what I was going to say before wow. is that there is a video of uh, that viral video. Y'all know that viral video of the, the BBL eating like a BBL? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Where he like eats like really small. He even was speaking because he, he saw this video. He reacted to this video. And he was like, bro, y'all do know I said 
Like, it was a joke. Like, you weren't actually supposed to go and get the BBL or whatever. And But then he was like, but if you do get it, go to, like, really small towns like Wissis or something. And, get, and I'm just like, bro, it doesn't matter where you go. The surgery itself is still risky. Like, and we're gonna, I have a doctor that posted something in 2020 that we're going to watch. I found something. Me and Daniel, look. Bro, we had we to were dig. literally like, never dig. somebody asked why it took, took us so long to get on here because, because we were trying to find statistical data yes. behind anything about this and for some strange reason it's that hard to find yeah and then when you think about the dr miami's and dr miami came out and, kid, and uh, i'm gonna change the way that people see bbls and it's like I have seen so many girls say they went to Dr. Miami. You be listening Somebody to got music. sued for doing what Dr. Miami did and dancing it while, well, and that person got Florida disfigured. Man, and I, I feel like, no, I feel like we talked about them on a podcast episode, actually. Been We've been doing this. We've been doing for a hot minute. But yeah, these are all these ladies. And this is just people's reaction on Twitter being like, I must have missed a sale because why the grandmas get one before me? That's wrong on so many different levels because like that person didn't even look that old. And she's talking about why the grandma, it's for the grandmas low key. Because I mean, already one foot out this month anyway, you live your best life, me ma. But like right, when real. these young ladies step under that knife, they really need to consider like your body can reject your body if it's not yes. done properly or in a proper environment, bro, when you do an extensive procedure like that. Or people can go, I've seen people go too deep with turn it in. And yeah, it's over. So here is a doctor and he's going, and this was posted this year. Um, he's going to talk about this. Hi everybody, um, I'm in between surgeries and I just want to take a minute to a little bit about Brazilian butt lift safety and why patients die. I was sad to hear about a patient, Jocelyn Kano, that some of you may follow. She has a large following on Instagram who went to Columbia and had Brazilian butt lift surgery. So as you probably know, Brazilian butt lift surgery really involves liposuction and then fat reinjection into the buttocks. So to get a result, a lot of fat is injected in the buttocks, not just a little bit, but some of it absorbs. So in the process of injecting fat, we make little tiny pokeholes, and then we're introducing fat Damn, through I long, kind of like oversized needles, we call them cannulas with blunt tips. A lot of people usually do with their little BBL, uh, they usually say how they shrink. And that's why they shrink because that's your fat and your body absorbs it back in and it's trying to correct what the fuck's going on. Yeah. I, th this is such like, he's going to explain it more, but like, I'm going to tell y'all later with like my story of knowing someone personally. It's so much more than what y'all think. I mean, sign think. rules, but, but at but the end of the day. But it's not magic. It's still a man. Magic. You're still a human. It's probability. It's, right. It's probability, and if, like I said, if it's one in three thousand, that those are not good odds. No. At the rate, at the rate where people are doing it, and then they're doing it in places where that's never going to see the light of day that that happened. And but I'm Daniel, like, what I'm saying to you is, even if you go to an American doctor, you could still die. Yeah, but imagine all the saying. people that are going overseas, because that conveyor belt that we just seen, they were going to America. So, so you're no, going over, you're, you're doing, doing a, 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 a very risky procedure in a very hostile environment a lot of the times. Where nobody gives a f This will crack you over the head just so you got to go to the hospital and do insurance fraud. So in the process of injecting fat, we make little tiny pokeholes and then we're introducing fat through long, kind of like oversized needles. We call them cannulas with blunt tips. And when that fat's injected, it can be injected in different layers, including in where the fat exists or in the muscle. And when I was in training, we were actually taught to inject it that way 10 years ago in the muscle. Um, and we oh. learned that that's not a great idea because the large blood oh, that's muscles, not a great veins, idea. and arteries exist in the muscle. And I'm going to show you a quick diagram here in a minute of this, but it's very easy to inadvertently enter. I don't know why. My sh oh, I don't have like a degree in medicine or a desire to, but I know common sense that uh, um, muscle, muscle and fat. Why would you put they don't mix. fat into a muscle? They don't mix. He, he even just said, 
they they, they, they poke, poke too deep inadvertently sometimes, and that's how get they get muscle too deep in the first place. They, no, they hit the muscle. That's what I just said. Okay, yeah. yeah, like so, so they, they go, go too, too deep and they hit muscle, muscle. and oh. they hear. Oh. Muscle. Which is then sending unoxygenated blood to the lungs to uh, oxygenate the blood, and when the the, uh, the blood vessel splits to go to your lung from your heart, the fat can lodge there and block both sides. Ah, oh, saddle fat, and that could that could obviously also happen from your legs throwing blood. You have a heart attack. And when that happens, it's almost impossible to save someone's life because yeah. oh. you just can't cut them open and get that fat out in time. And there's usually some fat around that's clogging up. Ah. So you just die in booty meat. So it's kind of like the same if you're overweight and you're in your uh, there's like too much fat skiing, on your heart bro. and it's like an yeah advantage. that's crazy. But, but I'm not saying, and I, I don't want everybody to think what I was saying earlier by like you're in a hostile environment is like this is gonna happen because a lot of people go get it and it happens. You get it? But if if you do die, do you think that people in a foreign place that you I know, never been to are gonna give a fuck? No, I feel you, but I feel That's like the disconnect, the disconnect, and probably what you're referencing is that you keep saying foreign place. People are dying here. That's why I'm saying it's it doesn't matter where you go. But you're right. You could go somewhere else and get a good surgery, but it doesn't matter because you're, the death rate is high regardless. Surgery in Greenwood Village last summer, ready for an image change. She was so excited. After months of saving for breast augmentation, just preparing herself for her new image, her mom, Lynn Fang, assured her daughter she'd be fine, but the minutes and hours ticked by. So the doctor was just trying to tell her that Emily was fine. She called me, but she wasn't. Nguyen ended up in a coma, and after Dead being rushed wow. to the hospital, doctors say she suffered a severe brain injury. Man, yeah, I was about to say, sue that ass, bro. Please sue them. Sue them away. Jesus. I just couldn't believe it. I, I, I couldn't believe it.